Hello! Hi! Today we have our January USA Snacks box to open up. This is a monthly subscription that sends different snacks, candies, and treats from a different state of the United States, which is so awesome. This is one of our favorite boxes. We yeah. really enjoy this one. Shout out to USA Snacks for hooking us up with the biggest size box. They do have three different size boxes. This is their biggest one, the blue box, which is their biggest taste of the states. And we do have some videos of their smallest box, the red box. So I will link the playlist of all of our USA Snacks box openings so you can check out like the differences between the sizes. And then I'll also link USA Snacks' website in the description below as well if you're interested in signing up so you can check them out for like pricing information. So today we're gonna be tasting snacks from Illinois. I did not guess it this month. <laughs> Last month, Chris totally guessed what we were gonna be tasting. I've never been to Illinois. Neither have I. That's gonna be a trend here. <laughs> there are very few states that we have traveled to, which is one of the main reasons why we yeah. like this box. This box is a great curation of snacks that are from the specific state. And they're usually from like smaller shops, they're local favorites, snacks and flavors that are enjoyed locally. So for the most part, the stuff that you get in these boxes, you cannot get anywhere except for if you were like in that specific place, which or, is really awesome. Or if you had like specific knowledge. Right. Or if you like knew about that place and then like went onto their website. Yeah. Sometimes you can buy these things from those companies' websites, which we have done after getting them in the USA Snacks box and really, really enjoying them. Yeah. After our last USA Snacks box, which was Colorado, Chris and I both placed an order on different websites for more of the snacks that yeah. were in that box. Like that's how much we liked them. So mm -hmm. we really, really enjoy the USA Snacks box. The price of the USA Snacks box does kind of reflect the fact that the snacks are from smaller shops yeah. and I've gone into greater detail about that in our other videos, but for us, it's totally worth it. We really, really enjoy getting a chance to try these snacks, so let's get into this. Okay, just kidding. Before we get into it, the box does contain two cards with different trivia, fun facts, and information about the state that yeah. they're from, and sometimes the facts actually relate to the snacks, so we'll like throw them in. Yeah. Oh man, the state snack food is popcorn. That's like our favorite thing. <laughs> Well, after ice cream. And then they usually give like a really long description about at least one of the companies that a lot of the snacks in the box will be from. And I think that's one of the best parts of this box, just getting to know about these companies a little bit more. Because we probably wouldn't have ever even heard of them if not for no. this box. The ice cream sundae originated in Evanston, Illinois. Wow. Hmm. They have all our favorite things. Yeah. First up, we have Cantina Beer Nuts from Bloomington, Illinois. A distinct flavor pairing of guacamole, black bean, chili, lemon, and sriracha with our original peanuts into one festive mix. Look at it. It's beautiful. It really is. I can't even get over all those colors. It's really tasty. It is really good. There's a ton of stuff going on. Lots of different flavors and textures. It reminds me more of like a trail mix. Like I feel like the brand name Beer Nuts is throwing me off because I was just thinking like, oh, it's just going to be nuts, but it's a lot of stuff. It's a ton of stuff. There's like little corn chip things in there, I think, that taste like guacamole. Yeah. It really reminds me a lot of that Tex-Mex stuff you get me. Yeah, the Tex-Mex trail mix from Target. It's got a lot of similar things like sesame yeah. sticks, peanuts. And it definitely does read more like a trail mix. You're right. I guess you have a specific thing in mind when you think of beer nuts. But I think this also serves the same purpose as beer nuts. Like that could totally be in a bowl on a bar when you're yeah, having oh, a beer. Yeah, for sure. Like salty, a lot of nuttiness. A lot of different crunches. Yeah, a lot of different textures. It's good. Yeah. This is a milk chocolate caramel from Long Grove Confectionery in Buffalo Grove, Illinois. It smells like really good chocolate. It looks really good. This is going to be a chewy caramel. Really, really good and chewy. Very soft too. Not like firm chewy, like soft chewy. What can you say about a chocolate caramel though? Oh, I can say a lot. So it's milk chocolate, which I prefer. We do have a dark chocolate one to try in a little bit. And I'll probably prefer You'll that probably one. probably prefer that one. It's a nice balance. The chocolate is pretty thick on there. Yeah. Because it is just thin. Normally you would have that amount of chocolate on like a thicker piece of caramel. So it's like almost a 50-50 ratio of caramel mm. to chocolate, which is different. It's good. It adds for like a different sort of a texture than some chocolate caramels that we've had before. But it's good. I'm very passionate about chewy caramels. That one's a good one. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of like a Ghirardelli square, but more caramel and like chewier caramel. Up next, we have a Lemon Paradise Biscotti from Terry's Toffee in Chicago, Illinois. Biscotti aren't my favorite cookies. They're not mine either, but I love lemon cookies. Me too, these smell I've good. I've never had a lemon biscotti either before. It's so nutty. I'm not getting a ton of lemon either. Yeah. I wish there was more, but 
it is there. I think it's one of the better biscottis that I've ever had. I don't really like the traditional flavors of biscotti, like the ones that you always run into. So I like that this one is a little bit different and it wasn't as hard as I was expecting it to be. Yeah. I don't know if that's just the ones that I've had, but the the ones that I've had before have just been like so hard you have to dip them in something. This one really just felt like a cookie, which I don't normally experience with biscotti. So yeah. in a texture department, I actually prefer it. The flavor is okay. Yeah. I just feel like if I'm gonna like a biscotti, it has to be with coffee or tea or something. This is a milk chocolate crispy pop from Long Grove Confectionery in Buffalo Grove, Illinois. So a chocolate covered rice crispy treat. Yeah, it's cute though. It is. I've been in the mood for rice crispy treats. That was good. That was really chewy. That was a dense rice crispy treat. Yeah. Like if they're putting that in some sort of like a mold or a form or something, they really squish it in. Mm -hmm. They pack it a lot, which I think is good for it holding its nice cute little yeah, shape. It's a good shape. And it has a really thick coating of chocolate on there, but it's yeah. good. Yeah, and I like the little crunchy guys on top too. They had a little extra crunch. Yeah, that was good. That's like a classic thing that I never pick when I like go into a candy store. You always see that chocolate covered rice crispy yeah. treat, but I've never picked one. Neither have I. It's good though. I wish it was fruity pebbles. I'm totally off topic. Have you guys ever had a rice crispy treat that's made out of fruity pebbles and not rice krispies? Holy cow, it'll change your life. Next up, we have some French onion potato chips from Mrs. Fisher's in Rockford, Illinois. I love this bag. It feels like they made it in like the 30s and it hasn't <laughs> been updated once. That's really funny. It's got like a creepy potato doing ring around the rosy with some children. That's awesome. These chips look beautiful. Yeah, they're big. I don't even like, I don't even get it. It wasn't even one of those bags that's like packed full of air to no. protect the chips, but they're all like huge and fantastic looking. That's good. I've come to a realization with potato chips. I like them a little less flavored because I really like to taste the potato and I really like to actually taste the saltiness. So for me, this is a really good potato chip. It's not like super sour cream and onion. It has like a really good saltiness and a really good crunch and there's still potato flavor. It is really great. I feel like it's slightly thicker mm -hmm. than the potato chips that we're used to, but cooked in a similar way. It's like, like almost really kettle, oily. but not quite that crunchy. And then everything else like Chris said, not super intense, not as intense as it could be, but the flavors are all like really balanced. Everything's coming through mm -hmm. and it's just French onion. It's not sour cream and onion. Oh, I just realized that. But I'm not really noticing a difference between like this flavor and the flavor of other sour cream yeah. and onion chips, but that's one of my favorites. Maybe it doesn't have that milky kind of dairiness yeah. that you get, you know, the dairiness. Yeah, the dairiness, but it does have that very familiar onion flavor. Yeah. It's good. So now we have Beer Nuts Original Bar Mix from Bloomington, Illinois. So I don't know if I talk about this a lot, but I love sesame sticks. I could probably eat a giant bag of just sesame sticks by myself in an hour. <laughs> this is better than the other one. Mm -hmm. Same kind of idea as the first one, but just like more plain flavors and saltier. This really reminds me of the Honey Mustard Snyder's Pretzel Chunks. I know, it has like an extra flavor happening than just salt. But it's certainly not honey mustard. <laughs> but that's what it's reminding me of. This is definitely closer to what I was imagining when we were opening up the first bag. This is a lot more traditional to yeah. like what you would see at a bar, I guess. A nice mix of different textures again. This one has like little pretzel sticks and pretzel twists. So you're getting a lot of different pretzel action happening. Yeah, the sesame sticks are better in this one too. They're like fatter and thicker. Mm -hmm. Up next, we have more Mrs. Fisher chips from Rockford, Illinois. These are barbecue flavor. They smell really smoky. These are very different. Yeah, in terms of flavor, like the French onion ones tasted very similar to sour cream and onion chips that we're used to. These don't taste anything like barbecue chips no. that we're used to. These are more reminiscent of like actual smoked barbecue. The texture is the same as the other chips though. Like yeah. a little bit crunchier, maybe a little thicker than our normal chips, but it's good. I don't know if I would pick it though. It's just so I different. Think I would. It's not sweet at all. No, there's like no sweet happening here. It doesn't taste like barbecue sauce. It tastes like something that's just been smoked or cooked on the barbecue. Yeah. Up next, we have a creamy white Bavarian pretzel from Long Grove Confectionery. We do have a story about Long Grove Confectionery. Opening in 1975, the original Long Grove Confectionery, a retail shop and candy kitchen, was housed in a nostalgic replica of a red schoolhouse. The quality of their candy and a beveled glass window where visitors could see them make candy kept people coming back. After 10 years, they outgrew the location and moved to a 25,000 square foot facility. In 2001, they added another 60,000 square feet to meet demand. They pride themselves on delivering quality products. 
I mean, they have a fancy name for it, but it's just a white chocolate pretzel, right? Yeah, it's just a white chocolate covered pretzel. It smells good, though. It does. It smells like extra sweet, like cotton candy. It's good. Yeah, it's not bad. We complain about white chocolate a lot. Yeah. But this isn't bad. It's like a nice salty pretzel. Goes well with the white chocolate. Yeah. Not as crunchy as I was expecting. Kind of soft. Yeah. But not soft. Like, it was still a hard pretzel, but it just didn't have, like, that snap. Yeah. From Old Fashioned Candy Ears in Berwyn, Illinois, we have a chocolate covered pretzel. This is cute. We are filming this video on Inauguration Day, yeah. so it seems very appropriate to have a red, white, and blue sprinkled pretzel today. It does. <laughs> I wonder if they did that special for USA Snacks. Maybe. The pretzel is not that different from the white chocolate one, no. even though they're from different places. I mean, it's, they're just chocolate pretzels. Yeah. There's not much you can do to like make them that different, but I mean, it's yeah. good. I like yeah, a chocolate pretzel. It's a little pretzel. snappier. It's like a darker chocolate, maybe. Can't go wrong with a chocolate covered pretzel. That's no. all. This is a dark chocolate sea salt caramel from Long Grove Confectionery. So this is the dark chocolate version of the milk chocolate caramel that we had. And it seems like there's a couple little flecks of salt on top. Yeah, it's sea salt. I wish there was more before we even tasted it. I wish there was more salt. You're right, I want more salt. Mm -hmm. But it's so dark. I like it. Yeah, it is really dark. And because it's so dark, I like the texture of the chocolate better than the milk one. Mm. Milk chocolate is just too creamy for me. You like the snap. It's like a, yeah, there's like a crunch associated with a dark chocolate. Not really like a crunch, but you know what I mean. Like it's just harder. A snap. Yeah, I guess, a snap. So I like that texture with the caramel better. Yeah, me too. I wish for a little bit more salt, but it's yeah. so good. I love a salted caramel. This is cookies and cream popcorn from Popcorn World in Oak Lawn, Illinois. I'm never a fan of the sweet popcorn. We've tried so much popcorn on our channel because we love popcorn. We just love movie theater popcorn, but we did try that Oreo cookie pop, which is a similar idea. Yeah. This has little pieces of Oreos on it. And that was not good. That wasn't good. So I hope this is at least better. Yeah. That's very sweet. I think it's kettle corn that's yeah. coated with white chocolate because there's a nice crisp like kettle corn. It's either kettle corn or it's candy coated. I don't think it's caramel. candy coated. I, it's not as thick. Mm. That really tastes like kettle corn that's coated in white chocolate. So I like it better than that cookie pop that we had. I'm still not really a fan. Not really getting like an Oreo flavor, but it's one of the better sweeter popcorns that we've had in my that's opinion. That's true. We prefer salty, super, super salty, savory popcorns, but in terms of sweet, this is pretty good. Yeah. And it's still a light popcorn. I think that was a good idea to like kettle cook it rather than just cover it in like the white chocolate. It keeps that crisp yeah. and the light airiness. This is another sweet from Long Grove Confectionery. It's a dark chocolate graham cracker. I love chocolate covered graham crackers. I've never had a dark chocolate covered graham Either cracker have I. before. I'm excited about it's it. It's a thick coating on there. Yeah. That's very good. Really good. Super dark chocolate, nice crisp kind of sweet graham cracker. I love like biting through the chocolate and then hitting the graham cracker. I think that's like a really satisfying crunch. It's just amazing that the graham cracker doesn't get soggy at all. Yeah. It was still so crunchy. It was like a great crisp, like a good sound too. Mm -hmm. I don't know, that's good. And the dark chocolate's like super, super dark. So it's yeah. got like a really intense bitterness, which goes well with the graham cracker. Yeah. I would probably still pick milk chocolate, but that was good. Also from Long Grove Confectionery, a pecan myrtle. This was a surprise. When I turned it over, I thought it was just gonna be covered in chocolate all the way around, but it wasn't. There no. was a ton of pecans in here. So first it's just like super sweet. Yeah. And then really pecan forward. Mm -hmm. And then it finishes with like a really buttery, smooth, creamy caramel. It does. That one's a flavor journey. It is. Delicious. I love the textures. It's like a little too sweet for me. Maybe I would like dark chocolate on that. Probably. But then maybe that would ruin the texture. This is a McCall's Classic Biscotti from Terry's Toffee. Since this place is called Terry's Toffee, I bet that that's pieces of toffee on top. It's definitely pieces of toffee on top. I don't think that's in question. Well, it smells good. I think that one's better than the lemon. I agree. The roof of my mouth is not happy though. Mine is fine. But it's really good. Delicious even. Yeah, I like the flavor of that one better too. It kind of just tastes buttery. Mm -hmm. It's not like any specific flavor that I can pick out. It just tastes like a butter cookie, I guess. It's like buttery, a little nutty. I think that one would be better than the lemon one with coffee or tea. I think mm. it would pair better. I think you're right. But both of them really had a better texture than most biscotti I've had. At least for me, I like it not as hard because I feel like I could eat it on its own if I wanted to. And last but certainly not least, from Old Fashioned Candies, we have a chocolate covered Twinkie. So this one also has the red, white, and blue sprinkles on here and really doesn't get much more American than a chocolate covered Twinkie. That's, That's a lot sweet. of chocolate. Holy cow. Really thick layer of chocolate yeah. on that one. But it's still pretty good. It is good. You like feel guilty for admitting that something like that is so good. 
Yeah, but it is. I feel like maybe we had it the wrong way. Like, it's probably a lot more satisfying to, like, bite into that than to have, like, a slice. I don't know. Because there is so much chocolate on it, that really overtakes the flavor of the Twinkie, but you just get, like, the light cake and cream yeah. texture to go along with it. I don't know. That's good. Another great box from USA mm -hmm. Snacks. What can we say? Honestly, it's always really fun having yeah. these like small candy shop things. It's just fun because like that's the sort of thing that like we would probably only ever really go into a candy shop if we were on vacation or like if we were in Disney or something or at the shore. You're right. We don't really have like a local small candy shop like this. So like to me that does say vacation. So it feels like a little vacation in each box. Yeah. That's just me though. I don't know. I kind of agree. Definitely check out USA Snacks' website if you're interested in signing up. Thank you for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already so you don't miss any of our other subscription box videos. And follow us on Twitter and Instagram and like us on Facebook. Those links are down below.